You're what? Take it away. You don't even yeah. have to give them a full season suspension. I'm telling you, man, if you give these players a 50 game suspension, that's better than what they have right now because right now they got nothing. They're going to be yeah. there opening day. They're going to be there all throughout spring training and uh, and playing yeah. in the spring games. You know, give them a 50. It doesn't have to even be ha- uh, like the halfway point of the season. You can give them a 50 game suspension. And I'm, I'd be like, okay. The that's problem fine. I have with it, though, is some of the players saying, oh, we didn't know nothing about it. Bull oh. crap. Come on. Bull <laughs> crap. They, they knew exactly what was going on and they were benefiting from it. And that goes by, I know I keep saying it, it's a culture of cheating. It's almost cool to cheat and not get caught. And you know how you can change that? Throw the book at the Astros. Yeah. Throw the book at them right now. And. And end this. I mean, they whooped up. I want to say that they, they beat the Indians in the first round that year when they went and, and, and won in two thousand. I mean, me as a fan, did I not get cheated? I mean, not only did the players get cheated, the fans got cheated too, right? There yeah. was some, they, I mean, you know, everybody got cheated. So why not punish the perpetrators? Let's let's do this right and send a message that the culture of cheating is not cool anymore. And anybody else who does it, think twice. Because if you do, the crown's getting taken. I, that's that's what I believe. It's really, it's really bad the way they're kind of, you know, screwing around with this thing and kind of oh well, that, but, but the, the trophy doesn't mean yeah, anything. It's, it's all this piece of metal. That, that's bull crap. Yeah. Go it's, ahead, Hunter. I know I, you want to say something. Oh no, I'm, uh, I was just thinking. You know what's funny though too is that season, the 2017 season, the Astros actually had a better record on the road than they did at home the year that they won the World Series. They were still a very talented team. No, they were. I'm and never see, gonna and take see that that's what's so them. crazy is you know that I don't I don't they there have been reports as out of the Astros that they didn't cheat in 18 and 19. It, but they were still able to make obviously the World Series this past year in 19 and took the Nationals to seven games. So whether or not they were cheating that just proves to you right there like you said they're still talented enough to get there. Just did that help them Get over the edge, probably. So what I like to do. Oh, there you go. So what I like to do is go to our resident to end the baseball show, baseball expert, and current Bigfoot hunter, Jose Canseco. Yeah, he he basically is on the side of the. Uh, of the players that are angry at the Astro. He's on the side of the pitcher that ratted him out. Major League Baseball yeah. dropped the ball during the PED era, and they inducted people into the Hall of Fame who used PEDs on suspicion alone and did not people in the Hall of Fame who deserved it. And now they're not penalizing players for cheating, only penalizing managers and the coaches. How odd. Yeah, well, My- I think the manager was just the fall guy, to yeah. be honest. I think it- he was just the one that they were like, we're going to fire you and let you take all the blame. But based on a lot of reports, this was like player run. I don't oh, even, yeah. he might have not even had that big a hand in it. Now, he mm. probably knew about it, but it probably wasn't his idea. Right. Conseco continues Mike fears the truth is never wrong, no matter when you say it. It's never too late to tell the truth. Big Poppy, I've been a fan of you since the first time, but you made it through the PED era. Uh, and then he goes on, he said, the truth hurts. Uh, and then he says, if anyone ever wants to challenge me about what I have to say about any of these players, we can polygraph it. I'm waiting on you. Uh, polygraph it. Who oh wants God. to uh, help me get some of these players in the Hall of Fame now who deserve it? And here are his list from Jose. Now, remember, he's got 463 home runs, he, 40, 40 years, stolen bases, and home runs. Um, Ken Seiko uh, says, here's his list, Terry. Pete Rose, Mark McGuire, Sosa. Rafi, Barry Bonds, Juan Gonzalez, Roger Clemens, and Manny Ramirez all deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. And that's mm-hmm. from your expert Bigfoot hunter and 463 home run man, Jose Canseco. Terry, you agree with Jose? I agree with him. But I'm going to say 90% of that. I mean, you know, I might take a couple of them other ones out of it. But I agree. If you're going to let this happen, yeah, that's the worst thing in the world for you to keep Pete Rose and all them out of it that you've banned. Yeah, I mean that's just me. You might as well go back and get Shoeless Joe Jackson and stick him in it also. Well, he's got a better you case know. not to have been in trouble well, than the Astros. That's do. what I'm saying. Maybe like 400 so, in the World Series or something. And then, so I mean, you know, come the Astros on. banging on drums, and Jackson has been banned for a hundred years for hitting 400. He was from, from Gre- like he that. was from Greenville, South Carolina. 
Truly, oh, yeah. I did not realize that. I heard that on the radio the other day. I said, I had no idea he was from Greenville, South Carolina. Local boy. Local product. Semi-local, anyway. Yeah, but I agree with y'all that uh, I, I think I think Ken Seiko, I, I agree with most of what he said, too. Yeah. And I think this best statement was, in, why do we fear the truth? Would you, you go, know, hunt, would you go Bigfoot hunting with Jose? Conseco? I would not. Jose's, Jose's, How would you say no to that, Tom? I might. Jose! Because Jose Fonseca is crazy. Man. Who cares what happens? You can tell anybody you know. I mean, I'm not going to be there tell somebody else. With, with I, Jose Fonseca. Jose Fonseca is crazy. He is, he is crazy. Well, he, so he is not even close to saying. I mean, I like what he said there. He had a moment of yeah. clarity there. I would be but, so fast out on that trip. He what? became lucid. No. He might think you're Bigfoot. What if he accidentally <laughs> find Bigfoot? He became. He became. He became <laughs> lucid. Do, do you guys remember when Jose can say? Do you guys remember when Canseco let the ball hit him in the head and right. it went out for a home run? Oh, yeah. yeah. I think he's never recovered from that. Tom, he was not paid to catch fly balls. <laughs> I, know. I know. He was not paid. He was paid to at hit the all ball. to yeah. catch fly balls. Now, JP, JP we're ready for this. Well, he's ready. We're ready for a break. What else, JP? What did you got to say? Oh, God. Yes. All right, let's breaking news to the world. Okay, is this what we got to do, Jay Hunter? Yeah, I Shock Jock's breaking news. Where's, breaking he going? Where's news. he going with this? I have no idea. Where are you going with this, JB? There you go. Uh, <laughs> think, think, think about it. Think about it. it. It's time for breaking. It? It's possible. All right, we'll be back in a few yeah. minutes. KDCBroadcasting.com. Yeah.
We don't. We do. Listen, I, we right, are in a heated conversation. Real quick, all right. Terry's gonna leave be, be leaving soon. Uh, uh we did forget something in baseball. Um Hey, wait a minute. I'm just gonna say that we have second shift employees. We also have part time employees. I know. Terry's part time. <laughs> yeah. T- uh we I uh, don't even want to hear none of that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how about they're talking expanding uh, the playoffs uh, in baseball and in football? We'll get to football in a little bit after Terry leaves, but let's finish up with baseball since we had Terry on here. Um, I, I'm I'm for anything in reducing regular season and expanding playoff in baseball. Uh, if you're going to play, you know, all these games, why don't they mean something? So I I love the ideas. What the only thing I don't like about it is the is the dumb rule they come up with that you may be able to pick your opponents besides the one seed so i think that one's a dumb one but other than adding the two teams i'm all for it and uh they're talking about going so three five seven seven uh in the playoffs first round second round uh here, here lcs and world series here's my revolutionary change if you're going to expand the teams cut the season to like 80 or 85 games i'd like to see it at least 120 at, at cut, the cut the yeah, season a little bit. That's what I said. Give these guys, give these guys a little bit of break to mm-hmm. where they can actually have a little bit of time away from the ball field. Of course, I think that would make the games less interesting because you wouldn't need as many pitchers, so you're going to face that ace more often in a 120 game season. So I think that's one of the reasons why if you if you try to fix it, make it more interesting, then sometimes the games would be less interesting because no, now you can let's pitch just that. Make, let's pitcher. just do this. Let's go 82 games for baseball. We'll switch that with the NBA, and the NBA can cut it down to 45. I don't care. We're fine. I mean, the, the, the once you get They to, just do that because they want to pay them big-ass contracts. Oh, I know. I'm You're right. Right. How are you going to pay right. these guys? You're not going to be able to pay them. Yeah, you but, do you, cut yeah, that but contract. Do, do you, me and you really think Mike Trout does, is all worth all that four hundred million dollar contract? Uh, is I know he's no, not to me. No. Exactly. But for somebody so, else, he would. Be. They're not making the money, Terry, off the off the seats anymore. Oh, I know they're making that's off the that, 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 that's, that's TVs over. and everything else that comes with it. So I'm saying so, like it, it, it won't hurt my feelings if we can't play these pro athletes. Millions so, upon oh, millions. So, it ain't gonna hurt last my, gonna last hurt my year in the American League, the Indians and Red Sox would have made it. Um, the matchups I did have written right here. Here we go. Last year, the matchups, Terry, would have been uh, Boston at the Yankees in round one, Indians at Twins, Rays at A's with Houston with the bye in the National League. It would have been Diamondbacks and Mets getting into the playoffs. Diamondbacks at Atlanta, Mets at St. Louis, Milwaukee at Washington with the Dodgers. And the buy. So that's what your playoff matchups yeah. would have been last I year. I don't mind it until you get to the point you start putting losing teams with losing records. That won't happen with this with this system. It should. The only reason it happens is when you guarantee it like in football. The reason it happens NFL, in, it could happen. Well, the reason it happens in football you, con- got a, you, you automatically guarantee a, a spot in a conference. conference champion. You don't have that with only the you the, the only with only three divisions, that's champion. not gonna happen. Yeah. Also, in basketball, the reason it happens, they let 16 teams in. That's more than half the league, and that's why that happens there. So the reason the NFL gets you're, you're not going to get it with this, uh, I don't think, under any circumstance, uh, Terry. I don't think you have to worry about that. I think you only will in football, and it would really only be probably, like, say a division winner goes 8-8. Eight and eight. All right, That would be it. That, that would be the only reason. Now, it's close, Terry. I mean, it's not that far off. The Cardinals won a World Series of 83 wins, though, by the way. You do know that by well, just a few years ago. Um, so uh, the re- the Red Sox would have been the cutoff, so you'd have had seven teams over 500, and all seven of them would have made the playoffs in the American League. In the National League, uh, you'd have nine teams over 500, or eight teams over 500. Phillies were 500, and only seven of them would have made the playoffs. So the Cubs would have been the only team in baseball last year with a winning record. That missed the playoffs, so I so, kind of like the seven. Not, I think the NBA should maybe even back up to the seven themselves, but to cut off that eighth team. Is that not really what you do in the NBA? No, they've got they've got eight. I, mean, I know, but difference. I'm just saying it's about what you're doing in the NBA. Right. If I can be 500, I can have a shot at getting in. Is playoff baseball not better than than Kansas City versus Pittsburgh or Kansas City versus Baltimore in in September? Would you rather see? That's, how come would you, that's you my have that's players. my question. Would you rather see ba- playoff baseball, or would you rather see Orioles versus or Tigers in in September? Well, that's my, what you're that's what you're trading off. My whole deal in behind what we're doing is more times you're going to end up with the NBA where you have players who say, "Okay, I'm taking the day off 
and I'm not going to play today. That's what you're going to end up with. They do that in baseball anyway. But baseball, well, baseball is a whole different story. When I go to – Yachty uh, plays 125 games a year. When I go to Chicago, I got three games there. So I'm going to play two out of three. Mm-hmm. In basketball, I'm only coming there for one time. Mm-hmm. And I don't even have to play there. You know, and all the people bought them tickets come you to see somebody me and I'm going to be whole sitting series? on the bench. You think they're no, gonna I don't think nobody series? in the, the baseball is going to do that. I think you're going to mm. be okay. That's yeah. not going to happen. But I'm just saying, though, that's the only thing I'm asking is when we're doing this, I think we're just getting back to what the NBA does. All I have to do is play enough to for us to make the playoffs. And I know baseball is harder to do it than in the NBA. But, uh, I mean, just play well, you 500. Get, you play for home field advantage, and you play for the win seat. That's what you're doing. But when all that's gone, you just hope you in it. Right, that's the point of the playoffs, Terry. I know all you gotta do is get in, and I'm with that. I'm, I, I understand. You remember here asking for NC State to be the 67th team in the tournament, and you're you're concerned about the sixth best all baseball team. All I know team. is we routed the number <laughs> six team the other night. But you know what? Let does me that, put this in. Before does that, does I leave. that not clinch y'all the spot? No, Why because not? they're going to give that back to us in a couple weeks <laughs> when we go there to play. So did they shake hands? I think they should. What happened? Hands. I don't know. I mean, you know, a lot of people took in and put upon If I would have been Coach K, I wouldn't really be thinking, too. I'd, first thing I'd have been thinking, how in the world we get blown out by 22? Wait a minute. Did Kershevsky not shake hands after the game? Yeah, he did. I mean, it's like a blow by. Yeah, he did. Well, I mean, because usually if you're uh, Coach K, if you have any kind of, you know, well, sportsmanship has... at all, you, 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 you would shake the guy's hand and say, look. That's a great win for your program. Congratulations. Oh, he has a hard but Coach time to stay yeah, but, anyway. But, but Coach K is not going to do that because of what he is. I used to get so mad because, like, the sportsmanship and you can make a difference videos were Coach K. I was like, nah. This <laughs> yeah, is right. Nah. <laughs> no, not Coach K. Because, <laughs> because of the way he is. The way he treats other people and the way he treats other coaches. Because it seemed like I caught a glimpse of that. He, he should go up to – you know, when a coach like that win, wins a big ball game against him, hey, congratulations. You know, th- I'm not real happy right now, but congratulations to your program. That's not the way he is. And I agree with that 100% because he does have a little turn in him. Uh, he's done it to his fans the other day when somebody was there. If I was them, I would have never shown up the next day. I mean, that's how I would have done him. And then he's done it. He's done it when uh, I'll discipline my own players. Y'all don't tell me how to discipline my players he just, when he's telling the whole media. You know, I mean, come on. I mean, know. he's just a jerk. Yeah. I mean, I've never, I've never liked that guy. I remember in '94 when he or '95 when he didn't have anything, and all of a sudden he come up limp and couldn't oh, coach yeah. the team. Couldn't coach the so, team. So I mean, it's just kind of one of those things. And I, I know his fans love him. You two buried the video, but he's had, yeah, he's had a hard can't. time because Keats has <laughs> played him three rhythm. times and Keats has beat him twice. I just can't. I just can't stand him. I mean, you know, I rarely pull for Carolina, but you know when I pull for Carolina when they're playing Duke. <laughs> I mean, I pull for, I pull, and I can't believe Hunter and I were at the Hornets game how, how they let that one get away. But, but I, it's just, I can believe, yeah. I mean, it's, my, gosh, oh my, they've let somebody get away. I guess we were going to do a segment on that, but, but anyway, it, it just does not surprise the way the man acts is just, I don't know. And then, like I said. Uh, he was doing the "You Can Make a Difference" coaching video. They made us watch about 10, 12 years ago, and I still coach. I said, "Really, this guy? This guy's all about making a difference." Please give me a break. Anyway. I, I, I haven't seen the video yet. I'm trying to find one, but but I think Coach K successfully buried it on the internet. Somehow, I'm sure he did. Just like he buries him cur- cursing out the refs. I remember the one time where he went over to the other coach. Oh, you can't even find a replay of this. Look, what kind of what kind of coach? I can't remember who they were playing. He came past the scores table. I mean, he's all the way past the official score, calling the other coach, you're an a-hole, you're an a-hole, and, and pointing at him. Any other coach, what's going to happen, Terry? Oh, Boop. yeah. Oh, Not yeah. him. That just gets on my nerves, man. I can't breaking see. news. <laughs> breaking yeah. news. What you got? The Los Angeles Lakers are, in fact, waving DeMarcus Cousins. You didn't. That's uh, That happened last night. Yeah. No, they just, like, they literally just broke it this morning, though. No, that was on. That was that was Did a blurb it? on it last night. Oh. Yeah, because he's hurt. He hadn't played all year, right? Yeah, they said he was trying to play. Or mm-hmm. He was making strides to be back. I guess the Lakers. Somebody will get him. Well, what they they, they waved him so they could make up a roster spot. Cle- and, they're gonna, Cle- and they're getting the other Morris brother, Cleveland. He needs to go to Cleveland. Dan Gilbert, he's available. Sign him. You don't need another big man. 
You don't. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, Tom. You don't need another. You're big probably man. right, Hunter. You are right. I, I I will defer to your judgment. I'm just saying you need a name to get some people to buy some tickets. Andre Drummond's pretty good. Yeah. Name. Yeah. Kevin Terry, Love Terry, what is time pretty good. Yeah. I'm getting ready. Buddy. You got Terry's got to go. All right, oh, uh, Terry. I'm gonna miss you. The XFL will not be the same without you. Thank this goodness. Morning. Well, we're going to talk about why he rides to work. I can't believe yeah. these have these guys because they constantly talk about it. I actually feel obligated, like oh, I really need to be doing something, but I better watch the XFL or next Saturday. I'm, I'm just going to be left it. out. You can either watch it or keep up with it on your phone. Don't, College and don't forget, you can you could also bet on these. That's games. meaning more right now. College than especially, XFL, especially I watched Terry. I watched Ohio State the other day, Terry. It's like I don't know. They might let State in over Ohio State. Now, I should. think it's going to come down. State to that. would beat Ohio State. I Terry, don't know yeah. about that. It would they be a would, good. Tom, it would be a good game, Terry. Terry, you just speak the six You speak in these absolutes. You speak in these absolutes. It's ridiculous. Oh my! Why goodness. do you do this? Terry, State would beat Ohio. State. I need you, you don't know that. That you know they're evenly matched. Terry, Tom, both teams struggle scoring. Aren't y'all wild that Cleveland Ohio range God, out there? That Listen, little area. If you didn't Gary have Columbus, if, if you didn't have, yeah, if you didn't have Thunderbird from Cleveland, y'all wouldn't have won a game. What time? What break we on? JP twenty one still. Mm. Uh, we, we, our next one's the 04? Oh yeah, we we are behind on a break. Terry, Terry, before you leave, the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton has already started putting up their XFL displays, like I talked about last weekend. The recently in, in re- recently received in Canton the first opening kickoff game ball from the XFL. XFL Defenders and XFL Dragons marking the return of the NFL. Congratulations from the Pro Football Hall of Fame. You got to have it because it won't be there after four or five years. <laughs> Gosh, oh, my. oh, man. I tell you what, we'll Terry. S- we'll see s- you later, Debbie Downer. <laughs> hey. We'll see how much longer. I, 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 hope, <clears throat> I hope you get cussed out by somebody's grandma. I, do that every day. I, hope, I hope that happens. <laughs> we will see by far more X Bowl championship games than NC State and national championship football games. It's not even Hey, it's look, not even Terry, close. I'll tell you this. I've watched more full XFL games than I have Carolina basketball games this year. I'll tell you something. That's because you're a Carolina and fan. Hornets, when your yeah. team's bad, you don't pay attention. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Well, it's not just that. I don't need that kind of anger in my life watching for two minutes yeah. and well, wanting I'm to, t- I'm to throw my phone. When, like, when I watch Ohio State play, yeah. it's like I'll know whether they're – in the first five minutes. That's exactly The right. first five minutes. <laughs> it sets the tone. They get down 24 to 8 to Iowa. I'm like, it's, it's well, going to be one of those games. All, all right, we got to take a break. All yeah. I have to do is see if Carolina's <laughs> leading with two minutes left. I know they'll blow it. All right, when we come back, <laughs> we've got NFL, XFL, and Daytona 500 coverage to end up the show uh, on ktcbroadcasting.com.
Can I can I thank some of them? Right. Want to say hello to some of uh, our viewers say, and watchers online today. Right. Uh, Leslie uh, Royster Bumgardner is watching. Uh, that's Matt's cousin, by the way. Uh, Kevin, Brian Starnes uh, tuned in, and that's uh, Dorian Starnes' dad, football, basketball player at Burns. So we want to thank our Burns listeners for joining in. And uh, just thank you for, for tuning in and always leave comments. And always remember, like and share our like, broadcast. Yes, like, like and, and share. share. Also want to say a big thank you to my aunt. She's watching while she is on vacation in Florida right now. And aunt my or grand- aunt? I say aunt. I would too. I say aunt. I'm not maybe, I don't know about aunt. That's a northern thing, isn't it? I, is, so, it? is that above the base? Let's, let's, not, let's not get into this. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, I also want to say a big thank you for watching. My grandmother has tuned in. She actually has asked a question. Don't be afraid, people that are listening on Facebook. Uh, I know some of you, you can't, or you can, you'd have to call in for the radio part of it. Uh, you can call Facebook, in and ask JP. You can call in and ask JP, but on, on Facebook, uh, you can get in, our, in the chat and say hey to us, maybe ask a question. My grandmother asked, she said, today starts preseason for baseball. How do the Braves line up with the offseason additions? I think the Braves are in pro- around the same spot that they were last year. Uh, the only problem I had that they didn't do uh, was re-sign Josh Donaldson. You know, he was a big bat that they had. It was a bat for hire. I think they would have had yeah. hired him for a little bit longer. Uh, I think the addition to our pitching core, uh, adding Cole Hamels, really uh, it adds another uh, piece of good pitching to the starters. I uh, hate that we lost Keuchel, mm-hmm. but, I, you know, we still have the core of young guys, and Freddie Freeman is Mr. Reliable. So I I think I think we'll be fine. I, I can't guarantee a World Series just yet, but I think we're in the same spot that we were last year. Right. So. They're heading in the right direction. They are heading As in always, the right direction. As always, your biggest problem is the St. Louis Cardinals. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Want, yes. Want, want to say one other thing. Pick up a WhatsApp shopper and uh, – Burns Zone Ella Beam on the cover this week. Congratulations. Tom, I'll let you feature if you want to show it to the camera. Congratulations to, the camera. to, here we go. Can we see it? Yep. Ella Beam, two time state champion in, in my first period civics class. We Just bu- a sophomore, we, right? Yeah. We butt heads every day because she is a Michigan fan and wears Michigan that garbage blue every day. Oh, but, that's the team up. North. But, but congratulations to her and, uh, you know, her family, in addition to teaching, has family farms. So I think some, uh, perhaps some, Steak dinners may be coming your way pretty soon for Kevin and Calvin for giving <laughs> Ella that recognition. But we we appreciate uh, we appreciate what Ella's done for the school, putting us on the map. And what's up, Shopper? She's on the cover. Who's so on there with her? Week. I didn't get the coach. That's Coach name. Montgomery, uh, who's who replaced. Uh, I think Coach Grum was there for a while. Mm-hmm. Montgomery helped out, but he is there now. Great, All right, great. If you're watching great on guy. Facebook, I've great got coach. I've got queued up the handshake controversy real quick. That because we ha- I still haven't really seen. It. I just saw what it is. Basically, he shakes his hand and just keeps walking. Like he doesn't say anything, talk to him, he or has say hello, or anything is like that. A jerk. <laughs> All right, Tom, you want to watch it? I, so yeah, I've got it you know what? Up. I think I saw. What's funny when I've got you guys' faces the way I've got Tom's in the camera there on the corner, Hunter. Yeah. It looks like he's looking right at the screen with our with yeah. our viewers at home. So oh yeah, Tom's looking right at the big screen here. Absolutely, see him in the corner. So yeah, yeah. Look at him. Coach K is still trying to talk, and Coach K Keats. The, the real coach, coach K. K. Congratulate coach that! Keats. Congratulate that guy! Congratulate that guy on a big win. He beat your now, program. Now look, you're that, number that four happens. in the country. And he Does he ever you. even look at Keats? No, uh, he, that's what he, I was going. He is and just a poor example to coaches and players everywhere. Kevin when he Keats. loses, he's now poor. now Kevin Keats obviously uh, was probably expressing that Duke played a great game. Coach K didn't want to hear it because he was so butt hurt that he had his tail tucked between his legs for losing by like 20. Even... And then he goes out after the press conference later in the game and is talking to one of the better players for NC State saying, you didn't just play a good game, you played a great game. Yeah. You couldn't have told him that during the line. You had to almost make a second appearance to show people that, hey, I really do have some class, even though I just blew off he everybody in the line. He has no cl- – I mean, it's it's kind of one of those things where, where the media protects him for whatever reason. I guess they just – there are certain people and teams that the media is going to protect no matter what, and for some yeah. reason Coach K and Duke is one of them, which I just, I just do not understand uh, why they, they protect this guy the way he is. I mean – other coaches Coach, when they act, Tom, when they act you know a fool, exactly. They expose them. You know exactly um, what it is, and it's winning. Anytime He's a winner. Nick Saban, what was he in Miami? He was a quitter. He could he picked Culpepper over Breeze, and he quits on the team. Yeah. All right. So and now all of a sudden he's the greatest coach of all time. I mean, what in are we talking about football. here? Okay. Well, with Alabama, 
Like, so if you're the greatest coach of all time, why don't you come to North Carolina and do it? Because he couldn't do don't it. Don't go to Alabama and do it or Florida or Ohio State. I, I know those are the big names or whatever, but why wouldn't you do it? it, it the, my argument and with all these college things is, is that you're not doing it at some of the, one of these lower schools. Like, did Brad Stevens not do a better job at Butler than Coach K did last year with his three kids that didn't even make the, the final the, the final four with three back top to ten drafts? He made back-to-back back championships. championships. And he's been able Brad to adjust Stevens. to the program. That's a really good coach there. He knows how to adjust. Right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and and the same thing with players. You know, once they get on the field and they that, that's committed a crime, and they start playing good, that everyone just it kind of just blows by, and people do quit uh, just quit paying attention to it. And 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 you're right. Uh, some of these coaches can can do is say different things, but as long as they're winning, uh, a lot a of times that they just look by. And uh, so. he's a, he's a jerk. He's always been a jerk. Nobody's gonna say it. You're right because oh, it's. It's Duke. They're winners, so it's okay. Whatever you do, if you're a winner, it's okay. Whatever. Right. You do. I think that's how some of, some of them look at it. Um. All right, JP, ready for another break? When we come back. We got to do our XFL, and NFL, and a little bit more, uh, on KTCBroadcasting.com.
we're here. We're here. We're just getting ready for the next segment. Everybody listening and watching on KTC Broadcast. I want to thanks for tuning in. I'm Kevin Hastings along with Tom Cinefani and Hunter Yancey. Yep. Uh, and getting some love off their Facebook is what they're doing. These old fellas over here on Facebook. Well, the, the, the Burns uh, uh, crowd has been turning in. We appreciate it. We got Turning them. in? They're, they're tuning coming in. in right now? Shut up. They're <laughs> tuning in. And then... Uh, <laughs> We, we've had Ella Beam get recognized. We had all the Burns commits from last week recognized. Uh, so we try to give Burns a little love on Saturday morning show. So Some Burns would crowd, say we're turning in. biased, Tom. Are you you're trying to help? We probably are. I've got um, Sam representing my school. Uh, we got XFL to do. My school. Little NFL action. I want to talk about that with Terry next week. That's not that big of a deal. Maybe we, we might get to that. But we've got definitely well, we got to get over the NASCAR see if it even gets XFL. voted on. We got to see if it even gets agreed upon by the players. I don't understand why Terry just. Why does he love to hate? We need to take Terry out and then let him have some fun, man. He I just, don't. I think so. He loves to hate too much. Hate, hate, hate. Well, this weekend, <clears throat> Hunter. Yeah, today the St. Louis Battle Hoax will host. Battle Hawks. Yeah. Battle Hawks Get will host right. there we go. their first home game, Tom, in the in the in the old dome that the Rams played in. Expectations are for twenty eight thousand fans. The Battle Hawks have drawn twice the ratings almost as the St. Louis Blues this season. So seven point four for the Battle Hawks, four point eight with the Blues in week two, the Battle Hawks. Was five three and the Blues three it's six. A, it's a city starving for football since they took the Rams away. It's exactly what it is. That's and, why. And they took the Cardinals away back in the eighties too. So mm -hmm. we mentioned that the other day uh, in our podcast. I think that was yesterday, Tom, about yeah. the Cardinals. Uh, I had a um, went through a list here, and I got a new list for you today, Hunter, that okay. we're going to go over. Um, we, we talked a little bit about, uh, you know, how I don't like the nicknames. The, the nicknames, and then we talked about adding more teams to the XFL and, and, and other names. And so that what, what that got that, what brought that up, and actually the night before, I'd actually been watching a, uh, a video on the it, teams that almost became NFL teams for some reason or another. Uh, they applied to the league, tried to get in the league, and, and didn't get it. So, yeah, all right, so for example, uh, before the Seahawks were the Seahawks, they tried to get in the league as the Sea Lions. Yeah, I heard you say that. Arizona Firebirds. Uh, uh, the Roonies try to get a third Pennsylvania team, uh, and to be the Keystoners who would travel between the Eagles and and Steelers. That's ridiculous. Uh, L.A. Bulldogs. Memphis has had four different versions: South Men, Grizzlies, Mad Dogs, and Hound Dogs, and Mad Men. Baltimore Bombers were in the running when the Panthers and Jaguars were awarded teams. Yeah, I heard you talk about that one too. And the St. Louis Stallions was an original team. And, Tom, the Youngstown Patricians. Heard you say that, too. I was wondering if you'd heard them. I, right. he I heard that on the, the Patricians. What is that, like a reference to Roman history? I mean, why would you call somebody I don't know. the Patricians, the I, upper class? That's, that's, like, one of those that's, like, saying, that's like saying the Youngstown nobility. Right. Just doesn't make sense. So uh, we've got the Houston Renegades uh, at the Tampa Bay Vipers this weekend. I mean, Houston Roughnecks at the Tampa Bay Vipers. Dallas Renegades at Seattle Dragons. I love the Dragons name. Guardians at Battle Hawks. New York at St. Louis. Battle Hawks. And so, Washington D.C. at the L.A. Wildcats. The uh, weren't the uh, the Vipers supposed to be one of the best teams in the league? And they, yeah. they, and they before well, the season started, season. they had the best odds. They like to have yeah. the most wins. They're over under was seven and a half. D.C. looks pretty strong. Um, that, that what was the I'm good? I'm so happy we can talk. How about this the pass? That yeah. kid through the other day, and it was uh, the, the side th th There pass. was a game that was kind of back and forth. Uh, uh, was it this? What was it the St. Louis game that was back and forth? St. Louis and Houston. The, was the back late Sunday night game. It was back. Yeah. And it, forth. Was, it was only yeah. a four point game. I watched that. I I, I listened to it. I actually mm -hmm. had Bluetooth for my television, so I was up doing around and just listening to the game, which I enjoy uh, doing that. But it's 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 pretty good football. I like the kickoff rule. Mm -hmm. uh, Terry hates that. I don't know why. Uh, I guess you, he'd rather. You said it. He loves I, to hate. I, I, I guess he'd rather watch the ball just sail out of the end zone. I mean, it's I a, the NFL is nothing but touchbacks. Now. I, I did see the like where you guys broke down the pop pass, the pop pass, double pass. Well, it was actually mm -hmm. a triple pass, pop pass, throwback, and then another throw down. The yeah, field. yeah, because he had the the lateral. So right, yeah. right. So I, I think you know that's something you could definitely integrate in the offense and do a lot off of that play, you mm -hmm. know, like you guys were Can be saying. creative with it. So, I mean, you know, it's it, it's some good. Uh, the New York team, look, uh, are they the ones getting blown out? They look bad. Yeah, they, they don't look They're very good. They're one and one, though. 
Well, they got beat twenty-seven to nothing by DC. Is that yeah. what the score? DC just might be really good. Yeah, DC's DC and good. Houston. I, Hunter, I told you there. before the season to stick with DC, and you're trying to jump off the DC football bandwagon and pull for St. Louis. DC football bandwagon. See, every, every it's they, the NFL. Just, <laughs> I just like the name Battlehawk. I think it's you know, sick, yeah. and I like the quarterback. I like Tommy a lot out of Ole Miss. I hear you. You know, it's it's good to listen, and all of a sudden you'll hear names like you know Cardell Jones, mm -hmm. Scooby Wright. I heard that when he's Scooby playing for played somebody. For, he played at he's Arizona. He's playing for somebody, and he played for the Browns briefly. So. Mm -hmm. It's good that these guys are getting a second chance. Yeah. And, so, and, I, and I think that's what it's providing. I totally forgot guys, that chance. they did. They interviewed Scooby Wright, and he was real brief with it. That's why I, I, it's kind of funny when they, because the, the reporters have access right then and there. They can catch you coming off the field after you threw an interception, and they would, they would catch Landry Jones after he would have like a bad play, and he would just be like, yeah, I just need to play better. You know, yeah. I mean, we get, we've got to. Uh, it's, it's just my fault. You we got to get a local team, Hunter, so we can. We Myrtle just, Beach is dying for a uh, XFL team. So we, we well, that, get, did you hear that that was one it. of the things we were talking about yesterday? Though, is, I uh, said what markets, should buy one. Yeah, because the XFL, I don't, I'm pretty sure it was their main Twitter page. It's very active. They're really active getting in to my social list. media. I, think, I got the list I think, here. I think, yeah, I think they ready? need to keep it. I would keep it at 20 teams or under to keep it interesting. Yeah. Like, I think they mm -hmm. could maybe double the size. And still yeah. Be All right. So, last but night. But that was one of the tweets they had was, well, what city would you like to see an XFL team come in? Because if they continue the success that they've had so far throughout the rest of the season, it's only going to be, you know, something that's at the forefront. Like, hey. We need more than just eight teams. Yeah. We're going to play XFL and NFL teams with names for you guys. See, tell me if you like or about don't nicknames. like. Oh, I've got it all. So last night I went through our 100 list of population cities. I mm -hmm. went and found some states that didn't have a team, some big cities that didn't have a team. And then I made a list of nicknames that we don't have in football because I hate some of these nicknames. Uh, and, and so You just don't like the Renegades or the Guardians. Or the Roughnecks. What is a Roughneck? Uh, you know what? They should have just brought back. I, I would have been fine with it if they called them the Houston Oilers. That I would have been fine with it. They'd have to probably pay money for that. This be a but that's got to right. be a dead trademark. <laughs> they hadn't had the team in 25 years. This is the NFL, Tom. They don't have dead trademarks. <laughs> they they run the world. It's the NFL. You can't do it. All it's, right. It's Goodell versus all. Here's some of the names that I didn't get on a team, mm -hmm. but are nicknames that we don't have in, in professional football. We don't have any type of a snake name, do we? In football, you mean like it's like we've got the vipers now. But you mean like uh like a rattlesnake? I had mambas, the cobras. I had the mambas. As... You don't call somebody the mambas. Hold on. Oh, you do now. Wait a minute, Hunter. You ready? <laughs> this is for an NFL team. Uh huh. Expansion. Mexico City mambas. How many folks are Laker fans down that way? Well, yeah. Mexico City mambas. Yes or no? Like it or not? I mean, I, I, got, I got a whole list of them. I'm about to go down the list. All right, here's the ones that missed the cut. I couldn't find names. Couldn't find somebody to go with the Cougars. We don't have an actual tiger. We've got Bengal. Uh, Crocs and Gators. Elephants, cheetahs, whales, elephants. orcas, sturgeon, and hornets. And then Hunter didn't like the dolphins, so I put porpoises down here. For I you. can't stand the name dolphins. The best names are like one or two syllables. What about... For a team in Portland being called the Oregon Octopuses. That's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was my Wait, fun. Would it, be right, a, would it be a poor taste of... Never mind, I'm not saying it. Yes. All right, Hunter, I've got... <laughs> it, was, it was the wrong one. Hunter wrong wanted, o, Hunter wrong wanted o. the Sharks from, yeah. from the Any Given Sunday, which he hasn't seen, and I sent the Sharks to San Diego. This is all alliteration. I love alliteration. So I yeah, went I was just about to comment on, on that. You should have been an English teacher. These are going to be alliteration. San Diego Sharks. So wait, this is for the NFL or X? Like whatever you want it to be. Okay. You tell me. X, X N, whatever. X, N. Uh, it could be either. X this is for XFL. Okay. The Birmingham Barracudas. Was, okay. They smaller, were the smaller markets would be for. Right. Would be for. Okay. Too many uh, syllables. <laughs> that that it would be. Fun. You could do the Bur literally. This would fit it. The Birmingham boars. People go to Alabama for hog hunting. I like boars. I'll give you that. I'll give you that one. What about the cruisers? The London. We're going alliteration. We don't have to be anyway. <laughs> cruisers. What what are you thinking for Cleveland cruisers? cruisers. The London Columbus cruisers. Columbus Hold on. Cruisers. Hey 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 guys. I have a list. Columbus is on my list. Slow oh, down. Frick. Okay. Columbus. Tom, you ready for that? These are all animal names, by the way. I'm just letting you know. And alliteration. The Clydesdales. Horrible. 
or the cheetahs or the crocs or the cougars but i like the clouds i could do the Col- columbus if you want to keep with alliteration and an animal i could do like the columbus corgis i like <laughs> the corgis i like the the soccer was the columbus crew yeah it? the columbus crew it's great yeah. they not, don't have that team though that's anymore. not they a, moved that's not, an, an, that's not an animal did they actually move it finally? London, i think they did didn't i think they did there was I a big push to that. move it to so, austin, austin but i think they kept all right i got a name for london how about the leopards we don't have any leopards in 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 any of these Sports. How about the London losers? How about that? I also put, if you don't want to do just the leopards, Tom, this is my most fearsome animal. This animal terrifies me. Is it a honey badger? The London sea leopards. Horrible. Have you Dude, ever seen a sea leopard? Those things are sick. Tom, you ever seen a sea leopard? It's like a sea lion on steroids. OMG. That's all I can say. The London limies. All right. The Puerto Rico point penguins. Puerto Rico penguins. We'll give all a team right. of Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, London, Mexico City. I think it would be a great addition to, to, to send a team to Puerto Rico. I couldn't come up with another P, though, unless we want to go to the porpoises for No, for, no for we're done with the porpoises. So we're I went with, with, I I went with like the penguins, dolphins. and there are penguins that do live in warm climates. you you got to watch Surf's Up. They have the warm weather penguins yes, with, they with do. my kids. Yes, what, they do. Tom? I know that. So I've, I've went Mexico City Mambas, Columbus Clydesdales. How about the Louisville Yellow Jackets? Horrible. Everybody's a horrible. You're going to love this one, then. The Albuquerque Anteaters. Horrible. I love it. <laughs> you don't. Well, know it does not. It <laughs> I had artworks at first, and I backed up. It doesn't up. have to be an animal. No, oh, this, this my list is though. Mine is. <laughs> <laughs> this is my list. This is this is my pet peeve. I don't like I've renegades, the, uh, guardians, fictitious. The, I want I want you to be able to say, Tom. This is my nickname, and I know what your mascot's going to look like. Ohio now has two. Uh, now has two teams, FC Cincinnati and the Columbus Crew are still yeah. there, but I don't know they might. There was a big. There was like they sued to block the moving of the team. It was yeah. a big to do. Okay. Save the crew and all that. Because yeah. it, it's a huge thing. It's because <laughs> it, I think what they did is they gave Austin an expansion franchise. Probably. How, how yeah. about we get a team to to Kansas? With me, the, the Tornadoes would be the, the the best name. The Wichita Wolves. That's actually decent. You like that? One. I knew you'd like that one. But the, but the Wichita Tornadoes would be so much better. The Tornadoes. Now, Red it's, Tornado. That's not a. It's not an animal. Uh, Idaho. It does. This and Hunter. Please be the Idaho Potatoes. I will lose no, it. No, no, oh, man. Y'all potatoes. should be the Redskins with the Redskin Potato logo. That's that's that would fix everything. For Redskin y'all. Potatoes. That's right. Have yeah. you seen that? I've shown you that. You yeah, yeah, the logo with the yeah. feathers. With the yeah. Idaho hippos. Man. We don't have a hippo. That is the leading. Killer of human beings in Africa is hippos. That's because people try to kill them for they think their they're hides they think they're whatever. cute and they end up getting eaten by the vicious they they viciously protect their territory. Like you cannot mess with the hippo. I got the Idaho hippos in Boise. Well, I'm too poor to go on a safari. What so do you think, Hunter? In Boise, in Boise, yeah. Idaho What's, hippos. What are we here for? The hippos. All right. So they make one Carolina, right? So I've made one Dakota, and this is where the only place that I could figure out where to put my dragons. Was the Dakota Dragons? That's I, actually decent. I don't know which city you put them in. Which is the biggest city Sioux in the Dakotas? Falls. Is that the big city? Fargo, Hawaii Hammerheads. It fits. You like them? If it fits, it ships for a low flat rate. So it fits. You, you guys do realize Hawaii surprised me is one of only two states with negative population growth. Hmm. Them and Connecticut. That is weird. That's it's a fa- probably, factoid of the day. From it's Center probably Center because. The volcano probably scared the hell out of everybody. And two, like you're just so separated from everything. And everything's expensive. Like all a, you need a is roll a, of toilet paper is five bucks. All you need is a Walmart. Yeah, no. All you need is no. a Walmart, yeah. Hunter. All you need is a all Walmart. All right, I got like three more. Stay with me. Yeah, I'm here. Send one to Arkansas. The Little Rock Rhinos. I'm fine with that. We don't have a rhinos. And I don't know if there's any college or anything. Those are pretty... Mm-hmm. Big animals, right? Yeah, but also the white rhino is officially extinct, so how I about, don't really want to think about that. How about the Utah mountain gorillas? Mountain gorillas. I mean, I you just Utah. Out, you just have done yourself with horribleness. There. There's no alliteration on that one, but it was they got the mountains. I was trying to help you out, Tom. Gorillas you wanted mountains. D- don't live in the mountains, Kevin. What is a mountain gorilla, Tom? That's so, it's a mountain gorilla. Hey, Africa. Yes, the, they do. There's no gorillas in the. Mountains. Oh my gosh! That's they where live, they, that's where the gorillas live. They live in the they live in the mountain. I thought gorillas lived on the steps. On the steps of uh, 
the grasslands and the jungle. Mountain Not gorillas mountain. are a subspecies of eastern gorilla. Okay. 8,000 to 13,000 feet. That means they live higher than anything in North Carolina that you've seen. Well, on. I was wrong. <laughs> it's called a mountain gorilla. <laughs> okay, well, I was wrong. <laughs> right, but but who says that? Who says mountain gorilla? Who even well, says who that? Who wants to say the fighting Irish, but they do it anyways? Well, it annoys the fighting Irish. Have you ever seen a drunk Irishman? Right. They fight. The reason, it's a great name. The reason I went with that this is a mountain is I, gorilla. I couldn't find it's a, real. I couldn't find a G. <laughs> for my alliteration, Tom. So I went with, there were mountain gorillas. Well, where's a mountain team? And I was scrolling through, and I was like, oh, Salt Lake City needs a team. Mountain gorillas. You know Yonkers is a 1,000 people less than Salt Lake City? Yonkers, New York? Yes. 199,000 people live in Yonkers. Salt Lake City is 200,000. Yonkers, that's a great name for a city. Though. Right. It's a great name. That's got to be a Dutch. That's Yonkers, le- that's le- that's left- Yellow Jackets. That's left over from the Dutch days. All right, and my final one on my list is, that, I mean, it's not, like it's my best one, but final one on my list, the OKC Oxen. Oklahoma City Oxen. That'd be another one for tornadoes. Well, they're the thunder. Windstorm. They actually, the, the I teams can't say, have, I can't say this either. I'd get I'd get a bunch of the people teams have, mad at me. Teams have focus focus group that. I think the Thunder actually did. And the NBA shot it down that they didn't want death tied to it to a team name. So that's why they got rid of the Washington Bullets. Right. That See, was, I was about to say this would have been bad, but I would have called them the OK. I can't. I can't even say it on my on air. I Oklahoma it Oxen. Was, no, I would have been. It would have. I wouldn't even call them the city. I would. I would throw the city in there. Why, the, just, why what did they? Th- why didn't it just be Oklahoma, Oklahoma City? It's like there's another city. There's another team in Oklahoma. <laughs> we got. We got to separate this. Okay. See, they put that on the. You know, on they everything. love to do that in the NBA. Okay. Well, Charlotte's C H A now. C H A. Yeah. Not C L T. No. 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 Not they, CLT. They don't do the airport abbreviation? No, not anymore. It's CHA. CHA they, they had gray jerseys and CHA, and that's what they wore. In the, they, they messed up. That I shows you. The, well, that's what happens when you hire called. the millennials to make the jerseys. It, they get dumb stuff like that. One thing that was kind of cool that Golden State used to do is they used to have the oak tree and put the town on it, mm-hmm. but now they play in San Francisco, so you can't, can't do, do that, that anymore. anymore. <laughs> right. The Hornets, uh, classic, best colors and, and jerseys that they could have in the NBA, and they they do dumb stuff sometimes. Yes. They All right. Do. So I had to. I did not know I was going to be explaining what a mountain gorilla was to Tom today. Look, dude, uh, but it's real radio, quick, man. This is supposed to be. I for thought they lived on the steps. I, I I must have been sleeping in biology class that day. You thought I'm, they I'm lived sorry. in the foothills. Of, of I Africa. thought they lived on the steps and the jungle and all that. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, there's different kind. There's different breeds. The big ones are the mount, are the mountain gorillas, and they live up there because you know who doesn't come up there? Tigers and. Lines well, and humans. If you, ask humans. Me, if you ask me about the Federalist Papers, I can answer the question. Gotcha. Ask me about gorillas, I can't. Sorry. Mm, well, so, Tom. Understandable. Hey, write that down when we talk about gorillas on our podcast and not call Tom that day. Hunter, okay. check. Okay. Put well, that on I'll, your, put, on your I'll put side note <laughs> Federalist Papers only. Yeah. Federalist Papers Federalist only. Papers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know about Federalist 10 and factions. I'll tell you all about it. All right. Oh, okay. How about this weekend in NASCAR? Uh, Today. Let's, talk, let's talk real quick about. Uh, last week's uh, Daytona 500, me and Hunter did a little bit this week, uh, Wednesday with, with Zach. I uh, want to get a little bit of what Tom, you didn't watch it live, but you, you did see uh, the wreck and some of the aftermath yeah, and everything that had happened. Um, as far as the racing goes, I thought it was an, I, and and I'm not going to say outstanding, but a really good race to the fact that I think 20 cars could have won that race. Almost 25 cars could have won that race. Um now, how does NASCAR get that to where 20 cars have a possibility uh, and keep it safe? Um, do they let them go faster? How do you do the restrictor plates? I've seen people people say, Tom, well, what you do is you go to Daytona and Talladega and you lower the banking to keep them from getting up to those speeds. So you, you, you make the banking flatter, say, like at Pocono. Make it like New Hampshire. Right. So you're So what you're doing – so with that said – the Chevys had a good had some good runs. Jimmy led for a while. Chase Elliott led for a while. Almost everybody, like everybody, was leading to the fact, and that what that leads up this weekend. What I'm excited about this this week and this year because the last few years, I mean, not being able to watch Johnson and Hendricks even compete, like they're in the teens every week, and that's not right. And I think they've got it fixed. Tom uh, Johnson was number one with the with the overall fastest speed uh, this week in practice yesterday. The best 10 consecutive lap averages, Harvick's won Johnson 2. Chastain, Ross Chastain, he's filling in for Newman is the driver filling in the six car. Alex Bowman Hendricks, Kurt Busch, Clint Boyer, William Byron Hendricks at seven. 
so there's three Hendrix drivers in the top seven, and this isn't a restrictor plate race. So I think that's good news. And what that means, not only is it good news for Jimmy and Hendrix, if Ford and Toyota were already good, right, and they're competing with him, I think this year could be a very, really good and exciting year to be watching NASCAR racing. Um, it's going to be very competitive, I believe. Um, so with that said, well, going into this week, qualifying is today, folks. So, so the schedule uh, today is qualifying for the Xfinity's at one, uh, Cup Series at two thirty. Um, Post qualifying, they'll have a now uh, on NASCAR.com. The uh, you can watch the press uh, questioning Xfinity the race today at three o'clock, uh, and then tomorrow uh, the Pennzoil four hundred will be at three thirty. From Las Vegas, Johnson has won multiple times uh, this race as well. All right, uh, y'all just do y'all want to just talk about the the wreck r- r- real quick, Tom, before we get off the. Well, I'm just glad that uh, Newman's okay, and I, I really enjoyed seeing him walking out with his little girls, and that was just a really because if you you know he's a family guy, his family's important, and that's that's just can you imagine being a little girl and watching that happen to your daddy? I mean, I wouldn't want anybody to have to go through that. So just. Prayers got answered, and he's walked out. He walked away from it, and they said maybe fifteen or twenty years ago they wouldn't have walked away from it because the yeah. technology engineering wasn't there. So just, just glad to see he's back with his family, and I think he's got a decision to make. Does he want to get back in a race car again? I mean, after that, right? We talked about it the other day that he had he had talked about retiring two years ago, and two years later he hadn't announced that he was retiring this year. So, and, and and with Johnson already announcing he's retiring, how does Jimmy look at this and say, you know, I've got a really fast car in Phoenix. This isn't, this isn't the same. This isn't mm-hmm. pack racing, draft racing. Does Jimmy back off any at Talladega and Daytona in the next one? If he's in the playoffs, he can't uh, with those two. Uh, but one of them maybe. But, like, do, do other older drivers, like, you know, maybe I don't want to race Talladega or, 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 or Daytona this weekend. Like, Johnson's already won the Daytona 500. Like, for him to come back and, and race that race, I don't see maybe even a purpose. Even even that, you know, it'd be good to have him in the Daytona. You know, when you say, what races are you going to race if you're going to race anything, you would say Daytona. But, you know, the danger factor, I don't think so. I, th- I think Jimmy would rather show up at Martinsville. No. And, and bang around there, and because they they still do the Firecracker Four Hundred, right? They it's not me. called that, but yeah, they 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 have that race, right? right. They still have that one. It's Fourth of July that's weekend. The, that's the one. I, it may have been moved to the um to the playoffs. I, I'm not 100 percent sure okay. in in, in the schedule that. in front of me, but yeah, they do got to go back to Daytona. Well, so just well, what, what, with real quick talk, what what was scary about? I was watching it live. And so when he hit the driver's window, that's what he hit. He didn't hit like, the, you know, he didn't hit the bag, didn't hit the, the, you know, the opposite side. The front of his car hit the driver's window at 195. And, and that's what you're thinking, one, did that impact kill him? Did the impact knock him out? And then when he started skidding, the whole cockpit lit up in flames. You're like, oh, God, he's saying there, maybe he's unconscious and on fire, can't defend himself, cover himself, whatever. I mean, There's so many thoughts and then when he flipped over and came to the stop, the 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 fire crew getting there, uh, there was gas pouring out right next to a fire. I mean, yeah, it was two it. or three yeah, feet away, that. and that one was just like, get there, get there, get there, get there. And the first guy gets there, and his little, uh, little tank of of firefighting fluid doesn't come out, and the second guy takes care of it. Thank God, but um, it was just, it, watching the race. I didn't see Earnhardt's. I was at. Baseball or football, baseball practice, I think, when Earnhardt wrecks. So I didn't actually see that. I was doing something, hitting baseball. It was a Sunday, so I was hitting baseball uh, on, on that on a Sunday. Earnhardt's didn't look near as bad as that. Right. Earnhardt's, and I've seen I've seen 50 worse than Earnhardt's over the years. Earnhardt's turn, he just hit straight on into the wall and snapped his neck. The, this one was the worst, not from the spin. I've seen worse spins, but the fact that the car hit his window like just made you think, I don't know what just happened. Because, you know, if you hit the door, hey, he's got protection. But that hood of the car, I mean, pretty much, I, I mean, I, you have to think that, that the hood of the car hit his helmet at some point in, in that, on that contact. And that's what just like, wow, uh, to he's me. Lucky. And, and, and for him to walk out, honey. Oh, yeah. I mean, walk out, no scratches, no burns. I mean, we were, we, and my cousin kept texting me, 
Why won't they make an announcement? Make some type of announcement. At least his comment was, at least tell us he's breathing. You know, something. Yeah. And then for him to two days later just walk out no scratches, you're just like, what just happened? Yeah. Like we have no idea. Oh, I'm sure I'm sure he scratched up. Uh, I, I'm sure he's a little sore, right? Or he's, he's, but we, we there was no scratches that he, we could see. He's not. Oh, yeah. He's he's not going to go run a 5K this week. Just yeah. a no. testament to technology. Yeah. that's made uh, that's made these just vehicles really so much to, safer. Really glad to see he's okay. All right, we got to go. We're way over time. Uh, real quick in the NFL news this week: um, Olson to Seattle, Drew Brees returns. Jameis Winston gets his eyes fixed, and they're talking about expanding the playoffs. We'll talk about more about the playoffs and if that gets a win, win and if uh, that gets approved the here. Collecting bar, uh, collective bargaining. Right. Yeah, All right, JP, today. you ready in there? Play us away, buddy. We'll see you guys next Saturday on Sports Talk. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, uh, we have Shock Jocks podcast, Hunter and myself, and uh, anybody else in the KTC family that just happens to have the day off and, and comes by uh, during the week. Uh, Hunter, and t- listen Tom, and come like and share. Papers. Yeah, what? listen. You can come by and grade papers one day. Like and share. No. Hey, how about we do the podcast from your classroom? You can go ahead and say because there's a foosball table in there. Say, quit playing foosball. It's like when he texts me when I'm at work, he'll send me a text. <laughs> and I don't answer. Quit playing foosball and answer your text. They like I don't. You lot, just come job shot at me lot, one day. A lot of history. Ha- a lot of history job. happening in the foosball t- oh, table room, in the foosball absolutely. room. He's All terrible. right, we'll, we'll be back <laughs> next week. KDCBroadcasting.com.